Folks, we need to talk about how the NHL has completely rigged the Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, I, I don't know how to make a tinfoil hat, could you tell? But today, folks, we're going to be talking about the NHL and the Chicago Blackhawks, and how a lot of things have gone their way recently. And now they're getting the Winter Classic? Oh, boy. Make sure you guys watch till the end, because we're going to be going full conspiracy mode here on the channel, and hit that subscribe button if you're new for more hockey content just like this all throughout the year. Now, before we deep dive into everything, let's first talk about good friends of the channel and today's sponsor in Sleeper Fantasy. If you're watching this channel, you're already a hardcore hockey fan, and the best way to turn that hockey knowledge into real money is with Sleeper Fantasy. All you got to do to win big is to pick more or less on different NHL players on each night for daily fantasy picks. And today, we got a few here. Charlie Coyle, more than 0.5 points versus Calgary. He's been especially hot lately, really underrated this year. Tristan Jari, more than 2.5 five goals against the Jets. I'm just right now super on the Jets train. I think it might work out. And then Mason Marchman, higher than 1.5 shots versus Buffalo. Another play that's really gotten going, but that whole line of Marchman, Duchesne, and Sagan has been unreal. And if these hit, we'll get $40 in winnings. Not too shabby. So make sure you go in the description, click on the link, join Sleeper Fantasy, and use promo code GRAB on your first deposit, and you can get up to a $500 deposit match. So make sure you join me on the Best Daily Picks app, and thank you so much to Sleeper Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. Now, after the Chicago Blackhawks won the draft lottery last year in 2023, getting the chance to snag Connor Bedard, a ton of people out there started to raise concerns over the NHL rigging everything for the Chicago Blackhawks. And of course, they would end up selecting Connor Bedard first overall, snagging their generational stud for the future and really getting a lock as a first line center for the next couple of decades. And already Connor Bedard at the start of the season, even though he had that freak injury, was able to show just what he's made of and just how scary he will be, not just in the future, but right now. And it's not really much of a surprise that Bedard has been killing it with Chicago, but still the production he's been able to have at 18 years old with the supporting cast with the Blackhawks this year, it's been incredible. And again, it's not a surprise considering just how dominant he has been the past couple of years. We knew he was this generational talent, but this year, 33 points, 15 goals in 39 games, a great year for an 18 year old with the supporting cast he has. We usually don't see many first overall picks, especially in their first year after the draft, playing that well at all, but Bedard has really bucked that trend recently. You had players like Alexi Lafreniere, Jack Hughes, Uri Slavkowski, all struggling mightily in their first year. I mean, Owen Power didn't even play in his first year because they knew that it wasn't going to be all too successful for him, and that's definitely paying dividends. With Conor Bedard, he has gone through all of that. All the players in the past, all the history, doesn't matter. Bedard has been unreal and is playing like a first overall pick already. Now, you already have Chicago being accused of having a rigged lottery, getting Connor Bedard from the NHL, and recent news isn't exactly going against that opinion either. We just got confirmation today that the 2025 Winter Classic will be held by Chicago, not just with the Blackhawks in the game, but getting hosted by Chicago against the Blues at Wrigley Field. Now, it wasn't really too much of a surprise because we've heard some rumblings of Chicago getting another Winter Classic for really a few months now, but it gets confirmed against the Blues at Wrigley Field, and things just got a little bit more interesting. As Ben Pope mentions, Connor Bedard's NHL debut drew higher TV ratings in the Winter Classic this season. That won't be the case next season, of course, with them getting the 2025 Winter Classic. But Mark Lazarus goes on to mention just how many Blackhawks involved outdoor games we've gotten with 2009's Winter Classic, the 2014 Stadium Series, 2015 Winter Classic, 2016 Stadium Series, 2017 Winter Classic, 2019 Winter Classic, 2025 Winter Classic. <gasps> it's a lot. But I just gotta tell you, especially with how the draft lottery situation is looking like for this next NHL draft, it's not a coincidence. The NHL is about to have their marquee outdoor event in 2025 hosted by the Chicago Blackhawks. And guess who has the best odds for the 2024 NHL draft? You probably guessed right. Yep, looking on takeathon.com, Chicago right now has really kind of cleared the way by San Jose, having the best odds to get first overall, get Macklin Celebrini in the 2024 draft. San Jose has actually done pretty decently as of late, which has put them not out of the race. Anything can happen, but they're right now on um, kind of the outside looking in with a 324 points percentage. Chicago down at 300, man. They've been abysmal, lost four straight. Right now, Chicago is the clear favorite. And I just got to say for the NHL, imagine they get Connor Bedard in the Winter Classic on top of Macklin Celebrini also being a rookie. I mean, that sounds pretty good for the NHL. 
And this leads you to believe that this is a grand plan by the NHL because you got Chicago with the best odds. They are probably going to win the lottery again. Let's be honest here with ourselves. You think they're going to let the San Jose Sharks get Celebrini? I mean, I would love that. But let's be real here. We know just how financially better the NHL is when Chicago is interesting, when they have interesting players, when they have guys carrying the boats. As we saw in the 2010s, Chicago, when they are good, is a ratings juggernaut. And really, it's no surprise. It should surprise nobody that the Blackhawks are back in the Winter Classic again. And I just gotta say, after the ratings that we saw in the Vegas Seattle Winter Classic, it should be no surprise again that Chicago is immediately after getting the Winter Classic in 2025. You can look at this rating chart throughout the NHL's Winter Classic history, and you can see it started out pretty good. And all through the NBC days, even though you saw a little bit of a decline, it was still doing pretty solidly. You could see just the kind of the uptick in games regarding Chicago, where you had T in 2019, a big ratings bump from Rangers and Sabres. And then you keep going and we've had a okay run. It's been fine with TNT, but it hasn't been able to reach back up to the 2 million mark. And especially considering the ratings we got versus Vegas and Seattle, 1.1 million viewers, which was a big disappointment. Far and away the worst in NHL history for a winter classic. Chicago is probably going to get back up to that 2 million mark, and that's what the NHL wants here. And I just gotta say, it is in their best interest for them to get Macklin Celebrini, become a dynasty once again, bring back a ton of ratings, and next year in the Winter Classic, have Bedard in his second year, have a player like Korchinski progressing, you could have maybe a Frank Nazer, I don't know, you could have as well Macklin Celebrini, whatever they want to do, it will be so fascinating to see what Chicago looks like next year and versus a Blues team that as well has had some pretty decent performances too this year is looking pretty solid it's gonna do pretty well now we actually have a St. Louis and Chicago one to draw from here with 2.5 million back in 2017 but I feel like also that was kind of towards the tail end of Chicago's dynasty and kind of towards where interest was starting to wane a little bit but I think now with the rejuvenation in the Chicago market you're gonna see those numbers look pretty good you just look at Cutter Bedard's debut, which was a regular season game, by the way, that didn't have any other special things going on, topped 1.43 million viewers. I mean, this is a calculated move by the NHL to get Bedard to market Bedard, and it's as clear as day here. Now, I'm going to start to say something controversial here, but I don't actually blame the NHL. I'm a Dallas Stars fan. I have all the reason in the world to blame the NHL and to think this is absolutely stupid, but... I also want to see the NHL do well. I also want to see the NHL perform well. And unfortunately, it's going to do numbers. I could see a situation where it does 3 million viewers. I mean, Chicago, Boston was 2.97. With Bedard in the mix, I think it could be even higher. And also going to say another thing controversial here. We've all wanted to see more teams represented in the Winter Classic. More areas, more experiences, different things to happen. But the NHL gave us that this year with Vegas versus Seattle. And nobody watched. Nobody watched. It was the worst Winter Classic ratings-wise by far in NHL history. And it's no surprise that the NHL is course correcting and going back to a more traditional market because that's what sells in the end. And we've been begging. We've been dreaming of the NHL actually marketing their stars. And so far with Connor Bedard, they have. I think they've done an incredible job putting Bedard's name out there. And you can see just the, the electricity, the ratings draw that Connor Bedard is able to bring. And it's unlike anything we've seen really since like an Ovechkin or Crosby, really. It's that big of a difference. And to me, they've done an incredible job actually marketing a superstar in this league. And as much as we hate to see it, as much as it's just so disappointing to see another Chicago Winter Classic, it's probably exactly what they should be doing. Bedard is the next star in the league. And they're finally marketing one of these guys properly. It sucks that maybe we haven't seen that level of, a, of, of marketing to Conor McDavid, but it's better late than ever, and they're doing it properly with Bedard this time around. And also just putting off the tinfoil hat, I've never really personally been a believer that especially the NHL rigs their lotteries. If that were the case, Connor McDavid would have never even touched Alberta in the first place. If the NHL was secretly rigging these draft lotteries and had sent like 15 straight first overall picks to Edmonton and Buffalo, they'd be the most incompetent people in the entire world. Uh, well, actually, this is the NHL we're talking about. I couldn't put it past them. But still, even though it feels very suspicious and very lucky, I think that's just all it is, is luck. Chicago getting that first overall pick, being a perfect storm here for the NHL. 
And really, the NHL is lucky that it wasn't a team like San Jose or Anaheim that got him. Sure, I think it would have grown the game a lot in California, but in terms of widespread NHL appeal, him going to Chicago was probably the best for actual money at the end of the day. But man, as a Stars fan, all of this has just stinged so much. I love the Winter Classic we got, and just seeing Conor Bedard in my division now for the next couple of decades. Probably going to see Macklin Celebrini in my division for the next couple of decades. After just getting rid of Kane and Taves, I, I've learned to deal with it. But let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think of Chicago getting Macklin Celebrini, potentially already Connor Bedard and a winner classic? Do you think it is all rigged in favor of Chicago? Do you put the tinfoil hats on? Let me know down below all your thoughts. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Just a fun video I wanted to make today covering all the recent topics and also the Chicago collusion rumors. But we'll see if there's any substantial <laughs> substantiality to that. I don't really think so. But of course, hit that subscribe button, share the video with all the hockey fans you guys know online, and click on this card for all my trading room content right in one playlist. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you have a fantastic hockey day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.